Hi, and welcome to our fifth video in the Field Server Quick Start series brought to you by Sierra Monitor Corporation. My name is Mac, and in this installment I would like to discuss issues surrounding the selection of the right field server for your gateway application. The field of communication gateway needs is diverse, and as such, finding the right fit for your project can be an intimidating prospect. If you're going to be serious about being in the communication gateway market, then you have to be prepared to strive for the right solution for every gateway need. And this means providing a diverse range of solutions to choose from. Zero Monitor Corporation understands this and has responded to this challenge by not only providing several hardware platforms to choose from, but also providing a huge communication driver library. Field servers are also offered with different configuration options and come with point licensing at several levels to right size your application. With such a wide selection of choices, however, it is understandable that choosing the right solution can be challenging. And the best place to start dealing with this problem is to arm ourselves with an understanding of what we need to know before purchasing a gateway. Before proceeding with the video, I would like to emphasize that all our customer services representatives are very experienced in assisting with gateway choice and will of course be there to help you when you make the call to request your quotation. The purpose of this video is not to replace the human interaction, but rather just to help you have a more productive conversation when you do call in. The purpose of communication gateways, simply stated, is to provide a means of taking data off of one communication network and presenting that data to another network. These networks typically use different communication protocols for interaction, so the gateway uses communication drivers to deal with that when moving data from one network to another. In the field server environment, pricing and hardware selection is based off of the number of data points being transferred between networks so it is important to know upfront what the approximate number of points being transferred is so far then we can summarize that two things we really need to know early are which communication protocols are being used on the networks involved and approximately how many data points are being transferred between the networks knowing the answer to these two questions will determine the right hardware for your solution and provide the guideline for choosing the right configuration solution for the product as well so the next thing we have to ask ourselves is where we can find the needed information. Choosing the right communication protocols is usually dictated by the vendor products connected to the communication networks. Most vendor products support just one communication protocol, but there are some that will support a few and therefore give you a selection of protocols to choose from. Your product vendor should be able to provide you with the supported communication protocol and any necessary supporting documentation. When calculating the number of data points to be transferred, please keep in mind that we only need to know if the number of data points exceed certain thresholds that guide us to choose different hardware or point licenses. Those thresholds per field server occur at 250 points, 500 points, 1000 points, 5000 points and 10,000 points. You will also need to consider whether the data points are being split between multiple field servers for practical or performance reasons. Sometimes the application forces you to use one hardware platform with one connection to the network. This is typical in serial protocol applications, especially RS-232 where point-to-point -point communication is mandated. However, if this is not an issue, then one would have to consider the usefulness of splitting data between multiple field servers for larger applications. While it is typically slightly more expensive to have two smaller field servers do the job of one larger one, there are inherent benefits to using multiple platforms that relate to physical positioning of gateways and usually an increased speed of communication brought about by using multiple communication ports and processes instead of one. Once the correct hardware license and drivers have been established, you'll be left with a decision as to how to achieve configuration of the field server. Note that the selection of drivers has only provided the field server with the capability to provide a certain gateway solution. In order to implement the solution, the field server needs to be configured for the application in mind, which involves deciding on communication ports and related parameters as well as deciding which data points need to be mapped across. Video 3 in our Quick Start series provides an overview of configuration concept if you wish to explore more deeply what is involved, but the decision as to how to best proceed with the configuration can be summarized as follows. Firstly, look to see if there's a field server easy gateway solution for your application. The Easy Gateway series offers packaged solutions for common applications and requires little configuration since a large portion of the application is pre-configured. Most site technicians familiar with communications would be perfectly comfortable configuring the Easy Gateway products themselves and would not need to allocate a large amount of time to do it. Please see our video on Easy Gateway. I think you'll find the interface intuitive and easy to set up. At the time of publishing this video, 
Serum Monitor Corporation has easy gateway solutions for Modbus to BACnet and for KNSX to BACnet. So if these are your protocols of interest, please be sure to inquire about these products first. Please note though that the software for these gateways is written only for applications where we have BACnet as a client. For example, the Modbus to BACnet Easy Gateway will represent Modbus devices in a BACnet network but it is not capable of representing BACnet devices in a Modbus network. You will need the standard field service solution for that. If your application involves integrating BACnet MSTP to BACnet IP or BACnet Ethernet, then look no further than the field server BACnet router. With its simple configuration interface, you can have your application configured in a matter of minutes. Included tools like the Device Find feature really help with making BACnet routing as simple as it can be and the existence of two RS-485 ports to double the potential quantity of MSTP devices you can integrate make the product very cost effective. If neither of these are suitable for your application then you will be left with the decision of configuring the field server yourself or purchasing a custom configuration from Sierra Monitor Corporation. In general I would recommend that if you have not had field server training and this is your first application that you at least order a custom configuration for the first job to ensure it goes as smoothly as possible. Once you have seen how the product is configured, you may want to consider tackling the configuration yourself in future applications. You may also want to have a look at video 4 in our Quick Start series which provides an overview of a basic configuration process and should allow you to establish a level of comfort doing this. Regardless of how the field server gets configured, it is extremely important to note that you're going to need the address list for the data that you're transferring between networks. Along with device quantities and network layouts, this is going to be needed by Sierra Monitor Corporation for the creation of the custom configuration, or by yourself if you'll be taking this on. Getting this information requires explicit interaction with the vendors of the products being communicated to, and can often take a really long time to acquire. So make sure you begin this process early. I would like to end this video by discussing the two hardware platforms we base all our field server solutions on. The first is the Quick Server, which is our smaller product. This is available in 250 or 500 point count solutions. The base product offers two RS-485 ports and one Ethernet port. But we also have alternate versions with only one Ethernet port, one RS-485 port and another port of interest such as RS-232, KNX, LONWORKS, MBUS or RS-422. The Quick Server is also the platform used for our Easy Gateway series. The Quick Server can be purchased with or without an accessory kit which includes a DIN rail, power supply and a few other useful items. If you do not purchase the accessory kit, mounting the unit is still possible as a wall mount option. And you can provide your own power supply as long as the specifications in the Quick Server Startup Guide are met. Our other platform is the Field Server X30, which comes standard with two Ethernet ports, two RS-485 ports, two RS-232 ports and a LONWORKS port. Additionally, it is possible to add an option card to this platform in order to support other protocols that use their own chipset design. Examples of these protocols are Profibus, DeviceNet and ControlNet. The X30 platform supports point counts of 1000, 5000 and 10,000 points and the power supply is included with the unit. You can also purchase the optional DIN rail mount but again a wall mount option is available at no extra cost. So to summarize, know what communication protocols are needed know how many data points you intend to transfer and then figure out how you plan to get the field server configured. If you have difficulty with any of these steps we're here to help you. And that is the end of this quick start presentation. We hope this video will help you have a meaningful conversation with us about how we can best meet your gateway needs and we look forward to hearing from you. Please like us below if you found this useful and let us know in the comments if there are any features or functions you'd like to see a video on. Thank you and all the best with your field server application.